Hey guys, the Fog here, and welcome to a very, very special video. Today, guys, we're going to be celebrating hitting a thousand uploads to this channel. Man, I can't absolutely like believe that a thousand uploads to this channel. It's been a lot of hard work. It's been absolutely insane, and to actually finally hit that is something to be actually pretty proud of. Years of hard work, for like starting off in FIFA 17, and actually having my channel a lot longer before that, and just uploading like random videos over the years. And uh, of course, to hear you know where we are now is just absolutely fantastic. So. Um, before we get any further into it, just like to say a massive thank you guys to always show my support on the channel. It's been very, very much appreciated. I know that FIFA 20, um, in terms of like my channel myself and how I felt that I've done on my channel, it hasn't been the best compared to FIFA 19 purely because FIFA 20 just hasn't been a very successful game uh, for quite a few reasons. But uh, even so, a lot of you guys continue with the support. We still actually keep growing with a channel, it's just that we're growing a lot more slowly than what we once were. But even so... Uh, I'm happy, obviously, for people who's going back to the channel, new viewers as well and stuff like that. It's obviously pretty cool. And I actually want to do something like this when I hit 10,000 subscribers, but I never got around to doing it. So I thought now is kind of a good opportunity to do so because a thousand uploads, it's a pretty big deal. It's something that very, very few people ever hit. And um, I'm very proud to be able to hit it because I put a lot of work into it. Pretty much like daily uploads on the channel since like FIFA 18. Like back in FIFA 17, I used to do like weekly videos. But from FIFA 18 onwards, it's been like videos almost every single day. And sometimes like two or three videos every day. So for example, when this video gets uploaded, it will probably be on the 30th, which means there would be three videos in one day. I should also mention this is actually not the 1,000th upload to the channel. I hit 1,000 uploads yesterday. I believe it was the Ogbonna SBC analysis video. I know not the most special video for a thousand uploads, but even so, I want to kind of like acknowledge just hitting a thousand. Um, and I thought we kind of show off my office that I work in. I actually do have a room now um, where I live in my new house that is just dedicated to me being able to record my videos and stuff like that. Like when I used to do it in my old house, used to be in my bedroom and stuff like that. I used to have like a laptop like balanced on the bed and then linked up with my Ava Media capture cards to my uh, to my uh, to my laptop and to my Xbox and stuff. But nowadays we're going out gas here. We've got a desk which I bought from IKEA, which I bought myself, which I'm very proud of building, and um, which I'll show you a little bit later on. But first of all, I want to kind of show you some like the wall decorations first that I've got which are based obviously around football, uh, Formula One, which is my second favorite sport and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys that now and then we'll have a look at the desk and even like how I record some of my videos as well. And um, like a few things behind the background, which you might kind of not expect me to have when I'm doing my videos, but I think it'd be pretty cool to show them off. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But first of all, let's have a look at some of the wall decorations. So this is the first thing here. This is the, the postcode, which is actually in real life, just outside Anfield Stadium on the Anfield Road end, Anfield Road... Uh, Liverpool Fort, it's like a road sign. You can buy these, I think, like off the Liverpool store or just like stuff in Liverpool. They have like lots of different things where you can like buy them. I used to have a clock here, got rid of that one to have something like football related. Um, and I think this is a pretty cool thing just to kind of like fill the wall out and stuff like that as well. Got like a few other stuff there as well, which is not really too important. Um, and then obviously this next part here is like dedicated towards my Formula One and stuff like that. So I know that a lot of people obviously on my channel come here to watch like FIFA content and stuff, but I still love Formula One. It's it's something that I've been passionate about for quite a long time. Fell out of it a few years ago, but I got really back into it over the past few years. And of course, I got one there of uh, End Center, which is a really, really cool photo, which is my dad gave me. Um, Nigel Mansell's... 1992 Williams, I believe that is. These are Hot Wheel cars. If anyone remember back in the day in the UK, you could actually get these like um, little cool Formula One cars from Mackey's, which was just very weird. Why there was like a, a, a like a partnership between Hot Wheels and Mackey's, and they used to make like these Formula One cars. They used to make like a Jaguar, a Ferrari, um, lots of other really cool. I think they made like a Jordan as well, like a lot of really really cool cards. And um, you can't obviously get them from there anymore, but like they did like a special McLaren one, which I think you can buy like you know like eBay or Amazon or something like that, which is pretty cool. And then the big car down here, Ralph Schumacher's Williams from two thousand and three, I think, which is obviously pretty cool as well. I don't know what something like this would go for. It's got quite a bit of weight to it, um, and I kind of kept it in good condition as well. Uh, I don't know who this was made by. It might have been made by. Um, it actually was made by Hot Wheels as well because it actually says in the, uh, on the little ma like mantelpiece thing there as well but that's obviously pretty cool and then down here as well I've actually got just some supplies and stuff but I should mention this is actually my um, blue snowball mic which I only stopped using probably about six months ago when I upgraded to the Yeti but if anyone's starting off YouTube this is a good one to get. It's like half the price of the Yeti yes the sound quality the sound quality is obviously very good it isn't as good as the Yeti's one 
but it's still decent, like starts off with. And then obviously over time, if you continue to enjoy YouTube, then obviously upgrade to the Yeti. But this one's like about £50. The Yeti is like 120 It's quite a lot more expensive. It is obviously a better mic, but when you're starting off YouTube, I highly recommend you buy this mic. Good equipment. I myself as a gamer, you know, fully recommend it. But even doing like vlogs and stuff like that or any type of um, stuff like that, you know, I, I, I do recommend. I think it's obviously a very, very decent kind of starter kit. And then I want to move over to the desk. This is it, guys. This is my main setup where I play FIFA every single day, pretty much. How fun is that? But um, on the left here, I've got obviously the TV, which I um, watch TV on, play with games on, stuff like that. And then to the right, we've got an all-in-one PC. I kind of fell out of love in doing um, laptops. I genuinely hate them now, but I don't like massive PCs where, for example, there's like a big like brick monitor at the bottom. I don't like that. So I want, when I moved house, I thought I want to get myself an all-in-one PC, wireless keyboard, wireless mouse. Got obviously my yeah, Blue Yeti mic there as well, which is pretty cool. And then um, it's so much more cool. So all the computer basically is in the monitor just right here, which is, and it's actually a pretty powerful one. It's an Acer one, which is obviously pretty sick as well. But um, I can't remember how much it costs, but I got it from Curry's and it's pretty, pretty cool. So we do have that. I should also mention up there is like another photo of Liverpool legends and stuff like that as well, which is um, pretty nice as well. So that's kind of like all the wall decorations. Now, I actually quickly want to show you guys the edits and software that I use. This is it. It's not Sony Vegas or something like that. It's called Movi Video Editor. I had to spend like 30 pounds on this back when FIFA 17 was out and I've used it ever since. I think it's a very good simple editing software. Sony Vegas, I do admit, is obviously fantastic, but I should also mention that this is just as effective for like doing like so, you know, small, simple videos and stuff like that. As you can see, I've got like the camera up here and then here is like all the gameplay and stuff like that, which I just kind of uh, put up into segments. Now, how do I get all these segments. I don't actually sit there and watch the whole video and look for highlights that I've got with a player. I use this, which is like a pen, paper, and I'd like to say, for example, on this one here, so I've got Ramsey playing the first game here. He got an assist in the 16th minute. I'm obviously recording on my Elgato, which is just behind there. I'll put down, right, he got an assist in the 16th minute, and then I know when I go to here, I can just whiz through, look at the 16 minutes up there, and then get it. I don't know if anyone else uses that. I'd like to know if Marshall or... Um, any of the other reviewers in the community actually use that, but it's pretty, that's my thing, like pen and paper. And then this is what I go off here. So uh, review, six games, one goal, five assists, three star skills, five star week four. I don't know if my writing's that good, I'm not too sure, but that is basically, yeah. And that is pretty much most of everything to my setup. That is all of it there. It's a lot better than the setup that I had back in my old house. And um, I am pretty proud of it. I think it's obviously pretty cool. You know, I'm lucky to obviously have like, my own space where I can actually um you know record and stuff like that i don't own this house but it's pretty cool to have like, my own little room for it um so yeah that's pretty much everything to this video guys hopefully you've enjoyed the kind of the tour and seen some of the behind stuff to it uh once again i'd like to say a massive thank you to all the support that you guys have shown me um on these first 1000 uploads and hopefully we can hit 2000 uploads on this channel that would absolutely be amazing as well but um yeah guys thank you so much for always watching and i'll see you guys later